Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is in humans male pattern baldness is controlled by a gene that occurs in two allelic forms. Allele HN determines non-boldness and allele HB determines pattern boldness. In males because of the presence of the testosterone allele HB is dominant over HN. If a man and woman both with genotype HN HB have a son what is the chances that he will eventually be bold and you have to choose one of these answers. We can solve this problem if we build just simple Punnett square. So male genotype would be here and his genotype is HNHB and female genotype would be here on the side and her genotype is also HN and HB. Now let's build simple Punnett square, which is going to be two by two. And here we are going to have H N H N. Here we are going to have H N H B. And here H N H B. And here H B H B. According to our problem, allele HB is dominant over allele HN. So, for example, let's consider this genotype. So, this person who has two dominant alleles and HB uh, determine pattern boldness. So, we can say that person who has two such alleles is going to be bold. What about these two people? These two people are heterozygous, they have both allele HN and HB. And because allele HB is dominant over HN, this genotype in males also manifests itself as pattern boldness. So according to the Spanish square, only one quarter of the progeny of this couple would have normal hair and three quarters will have male pattern boldness. So three quarters of the males. And this is answer E. But take a moment, I want to explain something else to you. This question, what about male progeny, but what is going to happen to the female progeny? Here is the same Punnett square. And again, on top, we have a male parent. So this is genotype of the male parent. And here on the side, female parent. Male pattern boldness is only applied to the males. This is sex influenced trait. What does it mean? That means that only in male progeny, HB allele would be dominant. But in female progeny, because of the lower level of the testosterone, dominant allele is going to be HN. And take a look what's going to happen. Genotype HN HN is going to be normal and heterozygous genotype HN HB also going to be normal. And only when female would have two defective allele, she would show pattern boldness. But again, if we compare with the male pattern boldness, female would have its only light version. So her hair just wouldn't be as thick as uh, normal hair, but males who has the same genotype would be whether bold in this case or partly bold if they are going to be heterozygous. So again, this is sex influence trait and it manifests in male progeny and female progeny differently. But our question today was about male progeny. So the answer is going to be 75%. One more time, those mother and father has the same genotype. Mother going to have normal phenotype because in her case, allele HN would be dominant. But father having the same genotype would show partial boldness because in his case, allele HB would be dominant. So we also can Use the same colors here and here. Again, those 
mother and father has the same genotype, mother would have normal phenotype and father would have partial boldness. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.